Welcome to the AI Chat Podcast. I'm your host, Jaden Schaefer. Every day, I bring you breaking AI news, diving into the implications it has in your life and business. If you're interested in sponsoring the podcast and getting your company in front of thousands of AI enthusiasts every day, there's an email in the description. Finally, make sure you are on the wait list for the AI Box platform, a tool we are building to allow you to automate virtually any task with AI tools. Find it at AIbox.ai. Have you ever wanted to start your own podcast? I record and publish podcasts on a platform called Spotify for Podcasters, and I absolutely love it. Essentially, you can upload from your phone or computer, and it distributes to every platform that plays podcasts. They support video podcasts, and you can make money on the platform with ads or even podcast subscriptions, something that has made my life so much easier as a podcaster. So if you're interested, I highly recommend you give it a try. You can download the Spotify for Podcast app or go to spotify.com slash podcasters to get started on your podcast today. Stability AI has released some massive new updates today. They're absolutely amazing. So if you don't know, Stability AI is the open source AI company that is behind a lot of the text to image generating models out there. But today they're making a bit of a departure from that and they have released two new um, large language models. They have Free Willy 1 and Free Willy 2. So essentially these were built in the labs of Stability AI and their innovation subsidiary, which is called Carper AI. And these models take a massive leap in the open source LLM arena. So although they are an experiment in research, I think that their implications could have some really big impacts on the AI community. So in, I think, you know, perhaps this is a bit of a nod to Meta's Llama and Llama 2 open source models, but Free Willy and Free Willy 2 essentially take their foundations um, from those same heavyweights, but they move in a kind of a bit of a new pool of data. So think of Free Willy 1 as a carefully honed um, evolution of the original Llama, which is about 65 billion foundation um, model, and fine-tuned using a freshly minted synthetically generated data set under the stewardship of supervised fine-tune um, in the classic alpaca format. So in the same vein, Free Willy 2 kind of takes uh, is is pretty much building off of Llama 2, which is the 70 billion um, foundational model, which is powering up to a level of performance that essentially I think can give you around ChatGPT 3.5. Um, so obviously Free Willy 2 is quite a bit better, but and you know people are asking like you know why would they bother building something more like Llama's um, 65 billion foundation model? Um, why are they building the two different versions? And I think it's because not all tasks require as complex um, software. And so sometimes they, sometimes these AI models are building not like dumbed down, but like more simple versions of this software so that um, if you, it uses essentially less computational power. And so if you need it for something more simple, you're going to use Free Willy 1. If you're looking for something a little bit more complex, it's, you know, the equivalent of probably ChatGPT 3.5, you're going to want to go with something like Free Willy 2. Now, that being said, I think what's really important and the big news story here is the fact that um, Stability AI is um, putting these things out there as an open access model. This is absolutely awesome. I love to see this from companies. Um, Meta has been doing a great job kind of leading the way. I think on the topic of the data that really went into these, um, models. The Free Willy 1 and 2 were both inspired by a mythology introduced by Microsoft in their influential paper, which was Orca's, or it was Orca Progressive Learning from Complex Explanation Traces of GPT-4. So much like their other counterpart parts, the Free Willy models adopted a really similar data generation process, but they chose to essentially go in a different um, direction as far as where they were getting their data sourced from. So they were trained on a data set containing around 600,000 data points. These were handpicked from high quality instructions um, originating from four rich data sets, which were curated by Enrico Chapol. So despite the data sets being a tenth of what was actually used in the original Orca paper, the Free Willy models actually showcased really impressive performance across a bunch of different benchmarks. And they, I think they do something really important for AI, which is essentially they're proving that Um, less data can be just as powerful when it comes to synthetically generated data sets. And so I think this is really big because up until now, things like ChatGPT, they almost like brag or they almost are like showing off by like, oh, we have X amount of trillion parameters or 100 billion parameters in our data set. And it's like, 
it's they're like saying that as if it's like you know how many gigs are on a hard drive like it's a it's like a number that really matters when at the end of the day it's not how big the data set is it's how well they were able to actually use that how efficient it was how they did their fine tuning there's so many other components that can make it so much better and so i think it's really impressive when we're seeing um these ai models that have much smaller data sets able to come up with some really impressive results i think that's really what we're seeing here from stability i think when it came to testing a luther's ai's um in eval harness was used as the diving board with essentially um agi eval added to the mix so what was discovered that was that free mil uh, free willy's models really um do great when it comes to uh, reasoning linguistic nuances and also solving some really complex queries so particularly in specialized fields like law and math this ai model actually excelled and did really really well they they actually did um they did pretty great and they were you know not only evaluated by the keen uh researchers over at stability ai but they were also independently um reproduced and published these same uh, i guess like evaluations were done by hugging faces on july 21st so i think it's cool that they obviously did this internal in-house but then they also had an external um, firm do the same uh, put it to, through the, to the test for the same benchmarks and they saw that it was replicable right this thing actually is as good as they said so i think with their non-commercial license the free willy models can't be used for business purposes instead essentially they're kind of um, trying to push forward advanced uh, research and also kind of promote openness in the AI space. The model's weights are also shared openly, so Free Willy's 2 as is um, and also Free Willy 1's are both released as deltas over the original model. So all of this, I think, paints a really clear picture of kind of the grand vision of Stability AI where we see them moving into the future. I think they're really pushing the boundaries of open access to LLMs um, they're really enhancing natural language understanding and empowering complex tasks. The team behind these models really are kind of thriving in this uncharted territory of um, essentially like trying to help the AI community explore and innovate and um, you know, essentially push the whole community forward. So as I think they put it, um, the endless possibilities these models bring are only really breaking the surface. Um, and I'm really excited to see where this continues to go, I think that the the moves and the and the trailblazing essentially that Stability AI is doing is really awesome. They have a solid team of researchers, engineers, collaborators. I'm really excited to see where they take this in the future, and I'm really excited to kind of follow this trend that they seem to be spearheading of this open AI that is essentially made by the people for the people and shared with everyone. So it's going to be a very interesting company to continue following into the future. Great job over at Stability AI. This episode is brought to you by Shopify. Forget the frustration of picking commerce platforms when you switch your business to Shopify, the global commerce platform that supercharges your selling wherever you sell. With Shopify, you'll harness the same intuitive features, trusted apps, and powerful analytics used by the world's leading brands. Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash tech, all lowercase. That's shopify.com slash tech. Thank you for listening to the AI Chat Podcast. If you enjoyed this podcast, I'd appreciate it if you rate us wherever you listen to your podcast. And if you're looking for an innovative group of AI enthusiasts, make sure to check out our Discord channel and Facebook community. It's obviously a lot more interactive than a podcast where we can share software tools and prompts we're using in AI every day. I'll leave a link for those in the description below.